Well, you have a lovely home. Congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. You. I know it can be daunting sometimes with a new home. So let's go over some things that you may want to know. Your furnace is up in the attic space here. Pull downstairs, the builder probably talked to you about that. And your registers that actually throw out the heat and the cold air are up in the ceiling. You have one central cold air return, which is this grill right here. When you open this up, you'll see the filter is under here. Blue spun fiberglass needs to be changed on a regular basis. But know this, that filter doesn't do a lot for your indoor air quality. If you upgrade to a pleated filter like this one here, it's 10 times more efficient and will pull particulate out of the air. You're gonna breathe much easier. But you wanna make sure you're replacing this every couple months or so. Then outside the condensing unit, that fan unit, that can suck in a lot of debris as well. It's a good idea once a month to clean it off to boost its efficiency. Oh, and one other thing. If you ever break a pipe and you need to shut the main water valve off, on this house, it's actually outside in a vault, right in your front yard. Open that up, there's a little valve in there to turn it off so you can shut the water off and make the repair. All right, a few more things about your new home. Carbon monoxide detectors and smoke detectors. Your house has them and they're all wired together. They actually gain their power from the power source here in the home. But know this, if you set one off, like you burn a little toast in the kitchen, okay, they're gonna all go off. They also have battery backups on them, so you do need to change those twice a year. Typically, when you change the clocks, you wanna change the batteries in your carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. Oh, and also, they last about seven years. After you're here in this home for seven years, you need to change those detectors to new ones. Now, before you move in, I know you're excited. You may wanna do some painting. If you don't like the colors, now's a great time to do it because nothing's in your way. Put some drop cloths down, pick the colors that you want. You know, color is very personal and you can make this your own by putting your colors on the walls. And you may need some tools, good screwdrivers, pliers, hammers, a tape measure, utility knife, because you're gonna be doing some work to get it ready. And it's nice to have a good quality tool set that'll last a lifetime. Awesome, thanks Luke. You're welcome, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Take care.